Hi, welcome to the old Ken. So today we'll be showing you about the coffee roasting and coffee cupping process. My name is Sadat and I'm the fourth generation owner of the property, the Olken Estates. So this is uh, our Arabica beans, mm -hmm. which has been uh, processed by the wet method. So the wet method is when we process the coffee through the uh, pulping system. So this thing. And now we're going to be using uh, this domestic roaster over here. Mm -hmm. So now we, we have our green beads over here. We fit this into the chamber and we lock it in place. And we turn on the machine. So over here you see there are basically two variables, time and temperature. And time and temperature is how we can regulate the amount of roasting. And mm -hmm. So at 12 minutes at 225 degrees centigrade, we would probably be getting a medium to dark roast. And mm -hmm. these are very good for espresso blends. Okay. So now we'll start the machine. Mm -hmm. Roasting is not only a science, but also it's an art. Right. So you see over here the light roast mm -hmm. is about 12 mm -hmm. minutes at uh, 230 degrees centigrade. And uh, the other end of the spectrum is the Italian roast, which is, is uh, 23 minutes, 23 minutes and at 250 quarter. degrees centigrade. So as we move from light to cinnamon to medium to high to city, full city, French and then Italian, the different notes of the coffee and the different aromas also come out. Yeah. So, so over here you see a couple of different kinds of uh, brewing equipments where you can brew your coffee. So starting with is the Italian espresso machine, which is over here. This is the biggest of the bunch. And surprisingly, it makes the fastest coffee. Then you have the Aeropress over here. And this uses a, basically a manual system of how you use your manual strength to actually extract and brew the coffee. Then you have the Bialetti, the mocha pot, which is something very typical that you would see in uh, Italian households. So yeah. an Italian, wouldn't wake up or wouldn't go to the office without his mocha and his mocha pot. Then you have these other two things which is uh, basically uh, looks like uh, something out of a chemistry lab. This is actually called a Chemex system of brewing where you uh, put a filter over here and you brew it. Uh, this was actually invented by a German scientist who wanted this coffee. And here you see something which is called the uh, Hario vacuum filter. So this is also something interesting, this is invented by the Japanese and uh, this also system also brings you very flavorful coffee and the vacuum system ensures that the flavors are all intact and it doesn't get dispersed. Finally over here you have uh, the grinders. So this is an antique grinder that you have and this is the more modern version of this. This is 100% uh, Arabica AA, so the highest quality of coffee. This is called the tamping. Put a little bit of pressure. Then you'd slot this in. And uh, two cups because mm -hmm. it's a double espresso shot. Okay. So now you'll see the magic happening. Hmm? You have it in one shot and then you leave. So as you can see now, the crema is starting to form. That is the lightly layer on top. Mm -hmm. So good espresso should have a good layer of crema. So what's the difference between espresso and cappuccino that you've made? So this is the espresso. Yes. This right. is the ideal size of an espresso. Right. So the base of a cappuccino is the same. The same espresso. Mm -hmm. And then you add milk to it. And then we add uh, steamed and frothed milk. It's a lovely golden caramel texture, and you have the creme on top as well. This is the siphon system of brewing that we're going to be doing. Right now. 
due to the vacuum force. Mm -hmm. The sediment is on top and the coffee has come down so it's a very clean cup of coffee mm -hmm. and uh, due to the nature that is enclosed you have the full aroma you don't uh, nothing escapes so we have about uh, two cups yeah even three that's more